pick it up and flip it over yet, but I did pick it up and flip it over and do the back side. So I have, um, I have epoxied the neck down here where the neck joins with the piece of coca bolo. This is a pine neck. Uh, not, not very good wood to be making musical instrument parts out of. It's not very strong, so I wanted to give it as much as I could. This is very strong, this piece of coca bolo right here, and this is the bolt, this is the one that the bolt actually goes into that holds this to the head. Um, what I did was I've, I brought this so that the neck and everything through the use of this epoxy is well attached to that piece of wood. It has a layer of glue in it and it has screws in it and now it has this epoxy around it and it's also well attached to the banjo uh, with a layer of uh, saran wrap between the banjo and the epoxy so that it won't actually be stuck to the banjo. I won't be able to uh, pull the saran wrap off and have the banjo neck fit the pot without being sort of glued to the pot so we're gonna leave this alone until tomorrow and I'll come back I may do a little sanding on these sides around that epoxy probably pop that neck off take the saran wrap off put everything back on tighten the neck down build me a taller bridge for this and I may have to make a different tailpiece for this and I'm also going to put a resonator on the back of this so that's the plans and we'll do a little catch-up video on uh, Jason's bass banjo the um, the epoxy uh, the poor 15 epoxy worked great this thing is so well connected now that uh, you could use this as a weapon in a bar fight and emerge victorious without having broken the banjo at all, I believe. Um, what I'm doing now is I'm, I could go without a stick in the back, but he wants a really loud instrument. And so I'm going to be putting a resonator on this, which I almost never do. I don't put resonators on any of my banjos, but for him, oh, and because I don't, uh, I've got a lot of resonators up in the attic in the spare parts pile so for him I'm going to put the resonator on here the way it goes on is it has a little hook that goes under the uh, uh, dowel rod and if I don't extend this it wouldn't be a dowel rod so I'm going to go ahead and do that uh, he's also very concerned about I should have brought my camera holder he's also very concerned about he doesn't think this is going to be strong enough to handle a set of bass guitar strings I think it's wrong I think Banjos are way stronger than a wooden instrument of any kind. Just my two cents worth right there. But, uh, you know, kind of in order to go along with his concerns, I'm making this a good strong pot. And it should be, it's, a, it's an aluminum pot, which is strong. Um, aluminum doesn't always necessarily uh, create the best sound or the most the resonator and everything we can make it make it work um, so by putting this rod in there I'm making it that much stronger actually so I think it's gonna be fine I think what he's concerned about is that the strings would crush the head I don't think that's any chance of that happening what I'm about to do is make a tailpiece out of this this was his old bridge and had a bunch of little adjustable things on here for the string to run through. I'm going to take it out, reverse it, put it on the back of the banjo and run his strings out of it up over the new bridge that I'm going to be making. Let's see that as we get farther along in the process. tailpiece 